What's going on guys, my name's Jack. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. And basically this is gonna be how you guys can create the fast forward effect, also known as speed ramps or speed ramp transitions. But I made a video entitled it speed ramps or speed ramp transitions and it didn't actually get too many views. So fast forward effect, that's what I'm calling it this time. Basically I've done this before, but uh, you know, I'm switching up the title and I'm using a different kind of example. Also a new kind of thing I'm trying out here on my channel is you guys can literally follow through step by step with this tutorial. If you guys wanna go to the description down below and actually download the two clips I'm gonna be using to demonstrate this. So if you want, you can literally go download those clips down below in the description and literally follow through step by step with me in this tutorial and we're gonna be working through these two clips. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so what you're looking at on screen right now is the finished result. This right here is what we're gonna create. It's this one clip of me walking, and then it is a uh, fast forward really quick, and then the next clip comes in again on a fast forward really quick, and then it kind of just ends here on a fast forward, and it also begins here on a fast forward, and we've also added a couple little effects like some blur. Um, I don't know if you can kind of fully see here. It goes from pretty clear to blurred and then comes out of this clip blurred and gets to cleared as well, which is just kind of like a little extra detail, which most people watching this will not even pick up on, but it's just kind of nice to have those little extra details in there just to, I don't know, kind of just improve the overall sequence and the overall effect itself. But what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do is close out these two projects up here. That is just the unsynced one back there, but um, then I'm gonna actually go ahead and import my two clips into a brand new sequence right here. Now, I did mention in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to follow through with me, you can download these two clips from Mediafire. The link's down below. By all means, uh, download these clips and let's follow through together. I think that's a very nice hands-on kind of learning experience. Overall, you will probably learn more if you're following through, uh, you know, with me right now while watching this as well as, uh, you know what I mean, doing it yourself and not just watching it. But anyways, do it however your way is, you know what I mean? <laughs> By all means, I won't tell you how to learn. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. So what I'm gonna first do is chop this clip down, this first clip, until I start walking. So I'm gonna start walking right there. Go ahead and chop that down, and then I'm gonna actually chop the next clip to when I start, uh, when you can start to see my legs. So just right about there, just before the camera comes up to show me. Um, and these are just two clips I actually got for a couple videos a while ago that were uh, something about establishing shots and also a glide cam comparison. That's what this one's from and this one's from uh, some, some other video basically, but then what I actually want to do is actually go ahead and scrub in here. Go ahead and right click this little effects thing. Go to time remapping and actually click speed. Then we can actually adjust this guy on the side to make these videos a little bit bigger. And what we can first do is I first want to add a speed at the beginning of this, just like my example has. So I'm going to press P to actually get onto my uh, pen tool and go ahead and click a little bit in and that's going to pop up with a dial at the top. And when I actually zoom in, I can click this dial and start dragging it out either way. So it's actually creating two dials and this kind of third dial in the middle. And actually what this does is divide each side. So each side is a different speed. So this side could be 100, this line. But if we go to this side over here and start dragging upwards, we could actually start bringing that way up, but I've actually just done that on a pretty annoying line. And also, both of these clips, uh, highlight them, right click, and just unlink. So we could actually delete the, the audio layer. Um, something always starts going wrong when you start messing uh, with with um, with the audio and, and, uh, and, and leaving the audio there. But overall, I'm just gonna keep dragging that up, and I'm actually gonna drag this, the left-hand side over here up to about 300. Don't worry about where the line's going right now. Even if it's going crazy, it should always just jump back just like that. So if your line's going a little bit crazy like that was right there, don't worry. Uh, so I've actually just put it so the left-hand side is 300 speed. So if 100 speed is regular, 300 is three times the speed. So then I can actually keep tweaking these dials and click them and actually tweak this one in the middle to create a more gradual um, decrease down to the regular speed and then drag these dials at the top out so it is a nice decrease so it's going to start on 300 speed come into normal speed and then about here i want it to speed up again to 300 speed and go super fast and then this next clip comes in again on 300 speed and comes super fast to kind of regular speed and it all goes so quick that the science behind it is that your brain you know what i mean kind of can't process a, you know a thousand frames a second so 
you see all this and it just looks like it flows into the other clip simply because your brain can't really process how fast everything's going. So it's kind of like a little mind trick almost. Um, but again, I'm gonna press P, click there to create another dial, drag those out and go to the right hand side one this time, just start dragging that up all the way to around 300%, making it three times the speed increase. Then I'm gonna click on my dials up here, just move them around a little bit to create a more gradual increase and then click them so I can have access to this guy and just start bringing him over to create a nice, nice casual increase to that three times speed. And now if we give this a play, that is obviously gonna be uh, going to 300 times speed and then I run off the, the screen. But I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and I could even do this speed on this turn right here. Instead of the example I showed you, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try the, the, uh, the peak points that we would actually change to the next clip. I wanna actually bring him, bring him over here. Um, keep going, keep going. So I'm gonna give this a play. Perfect, 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 perfect. So I want to actually change this when, yes, that's actually perfect. So when I turn around, see I kind of go right around. I wanna make it so it looks like it speeds into this next clip and just comes flying up from the ground to show me walking out to this field. So I'm gonna now bring this one over there. This first clip here is looking great, to be honest. We have a nice speed in the beginning, and then also, also that right there, which is which is probably a much nicer point to do this kind of effect on rather than the example point that I even showed you in the first place. But now it's the same process. Simply right-click this FX up here, go to time remapping and speed. I'm just go ahead and press P. Go ahead and open up these two dials, drag them out. Click on the left-hand side, start dragging that up. Don't worry about the stuff going crazy. Just get it to about 300%. And it's going to jump back over just like that. Then we can drag this out so we have a little bit more uh, breathing room to work with. Drag this dial over so we're kind of mimicking the same kind of uh, decrease or increase right here, right? That this side over here has. So it's, you know, kind of going to be looking the same. And then again, we're just going to go ahead and bring that over a little bit. Go ahead and give this a play to see what goes on. So yes, that is perfect right there. In fact, I might even just make this a little bit quicker um, in terms of the transition inwards. And overall, that's starting to look absolutely great right there. I think I might even go up here to sequence and go to render into out. So this is just gonna give us a little pre-render here. I'm gonna let this go through right here. And we're gonna actually have a look at what this is looking like in terms of the non-laggy, 100% pre-rendered. -pre so we can actually watch this all the way through without any glitches or anything like that. In about three seconds, it'll obviously be done, the pre-render. And we can watch this all the way through. There you go. Sweet, so let me just go ahead and give that another play. It's coming in from the beginning on a speed up uh, effect, and then it's actually gonna hit this point here. Boom, and I'm actually going to walk around. That looks like I go straight around and transition straight into the clip. That's very dope and awesome, 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 awesome use of this effect right here. You see, at first I didn't actually notice this kind of turnaround bit, but it's always, it's always cooler if you can actually use this fast forward aka speed ramp transition effect um, by actually implementing it with a movement that either the character's making in the shot or uh, you know an object or whatever because right here this looks so much cooler than our original example because I already kind of swing to the side and we can actually use that movement um, to kind of trick the, 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 the viewer's head and it kind of does trick the viewer's head that I almost swing around into this next shot overall using a piece of movement to um to, to, to do this sort of effect on is so much even, you know, it's, it's even better. It's leveling up the effect to the next kind of level. Um, but now simply, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a nice little effect right here. Just go ahead and open my pen tool and, uh, and, and, uh, and just go ahead and make this last bit a little bit more amplified just, just for the sake of it, basically. Uh, when I start looking around, go ahead and bring that up, drag that over so it hits the peak about here. Give that a play just to have a look how it's looking. Okay, now it just speeds me up and then goes off. Anyways, that right there is a brief walkthrough of how to do the speed transition, the uh, the fast forward transition, AKA what his real name is, is speed ramp, so the speed ramp transition. But now I'm gonna show you how you can just take this a little bit to the next level and uh, just add a couple more mini details to it. So I want you guys to right click this clip, go ahead and uh, go ahead and find nest. So. There it is, my eyes just messed up for a sec. Click nest, go ahead and press okay. Click nest on this one over here, press okay as well. This just combines this into one layer, so if we click on it, there's no uh, effects been made to it or anything. These have now been compiled down into the actual clip. So these speed ramps right here, 
these fast forwards right here aren't even in the effects controls because they are now part of this clip just like if we'd rendered or anything like that and it basically is kind of like a little render inside of uh of uh premiere pro but basically now i want you guys to go over here to effects go ahead and type in fast and uh, i want you guys to drag over fast blur onto this guy here go ahead and give this a play until it cools down a little bit so about about back back here yeah about here and just go ahead and press blurriness um, on a keyframe right there. Then let's go to the beginning. Go ahead and just put this to 20 and give it a play. And now it's just going to literally just come in from a slight, uh, a slight blur, which it's pretty safe to say if the camera was actually going this crazy speed, we'd be seeing some blur there almost definitely. And now, you know what I mean? It's very simple to do this effect here. It's not much. It's just an extra little detail, but I'd come here to where this next kind of speed ramp's about to begin. Go ahead and put a uh, keyframe, go ahead and come to the very end of this clip and go ahead and pop that back to 20. And I'm actually going to make this next clip here. I'm actually going to play this until it's uh, regular speed. So about here, about here. Yep. Go ahead and drag fast blur here as well. Make a keyframe there. So it's going to be zero when it comes down to regular speed. Go to the beginning of this clip and just go ahead and pop that on 20. So on this clip here, it's going to hit a peak of 20 at the end and then it's going to work its way in from 20 down to nothing. And now if I actually go ahead and sequence render into out and we go ahead and just put a little render into out on this and we actually have a look how the full final version is looking i think it's gonna be really nice and i think we will have achieved a very cool little effect here in not very long at all i'm sure this video must be under 10 minutes uh maybe slightly over 10 minutes i'm not even too sure really how long i've even been talking on this subject but overall i think it's a very very nice uh little mini effect and a combination of the speed ramps using the time remapping tool and the pen tool and uh, also this little fast blur which just adds a little bit more of a um another dynamic to it i'm gonna just go ahead and play that again from the beginning boom works its way in from a little bit of a blur which again most most users and, and most viewers might not even notice then works its way up to that blur and also i turn around into that next shot overall that's looking absolutely amazing if you guys downloaded the clips with me via Mediafire in the link below in the description. You guys will have worked through this exact sequence with me. And if you have, congrats to you. We both created the same thing and it should be looking exactly like this. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you've enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe for new video production videos basically every single week. Um, pretty much, pretty much, unless I got a big project going on or something. But I try upload every week. Without further ado, you guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.